Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Hosea. This place Here is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. Everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. <laughs> Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Enough. Arthur, you alive? Arthur, you, uh, you alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Uh, yeah. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brain. Vanderland! Get out of here! Get out of here the now! Hell? Vanderland! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case... Your mistaken identity. What is worse, 
than admonishing a man for the sins of another. Do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlei? on the back of John's horse, and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. So, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> this will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. <clears throat> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. Fancy fop back there, do. Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here... Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff Gray. How are you doing? I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Come on, move! We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like genius. The Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Haha! <laughs> hey, well, let's go light yourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here! I'll deal with this guy. I got the red head! Please, follow me! Interested 
the little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you that. Shit, what the hell? Oh, get down! than you a hundred times over this is the Grays town always has been always will be only Grays I see left around here is you you want us to come out we'll come out yes. oh, Bill. guns on the ground now both of you Morgan Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. She was crazy? <laughs> Day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. We got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. 
I said, why did you take his son? And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me? Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said. You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys. You've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah! Do it, huh? Made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Art. The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Oh. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Pull them off, fellas. We got more. Oh, God, fuck. Hey. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Oh. Yep. Oh. Hey, big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Your pussy. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So filth has got to be disposed of. Our friends of Pinkerton's gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them! There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a home. 
It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? Come on! Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. What now? Well, at least we got some gold. I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hold. I ain't no sailor, but, uh, <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you. Everybody, wake up, wake up! Come on, Arthur! Arthur, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! Next, I don't know. <laughs> well, next, I guess we're gonna get shot. Wait until that means. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Boys, we got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? Put your guns down. Here! Me. for you, Javier. <laughs> Captain, can you handle the ship? Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT, believe me. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> Listen, I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine, but that is who I am. Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, your laugh! Just about. Come inside. Come on, Look it's raining. 
Hey, everybody, look who's here. <laughs> hey, y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. Okay, okay. How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. Boss, Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you. Yes. yes. And the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Get down! My sons of bitches! Saved us, Arthur. <laughs> what is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. Arthur. Do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Charles! Here they come! How'd you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh! You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annis. Business doesn't give... Two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure, just you tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Okay, fam, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denis. They got Milliken! Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. No. Hey. Hey. John. Hello, you two. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying. Oh. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. 
<laughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Mark, it was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. Oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast. Ah! Now! Ah! Ah! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. I got you now, Black Lung! Rat! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Lung! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! God damn you! It is over. Now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. 
Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us... No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch! Come on! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm tr I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, mm. as long as it's honest. And it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. We'll work harder than any one of them. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. Okay. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, That's partner. That's enough, Jim. We all gotta earn our keep. <laughs> you wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> Oh, careful, boys. Feel funny. <laughs> no! Oh, <God. laughs> I didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Boss, boss, you need help? Get off that man! Get off! 
He hit me first. Well, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. <laughs> Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. Does it make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> what are you asking? Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No. I mean, proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. It's Micah! Uh, talk! Or I'll pull this lever! Do talk! Wait, 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 wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. Hang him. No. No. Don't do that, John! He's done. Thank you. Damn you, Mike! Mike, are you over there? Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Here! Come take a look! 
At least die like a man. <laughs> Hell fire. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Master. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. I, I, There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up! I got a wedding I want to go to. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs>